Today marks two years since the state's largest wildfire started, burning over 341,000 acres in northeastern New Mexico. Though two years later, some victims are now locked up in a legal battle, suing the federal government over the slow claims process. News 13's Madison Connor explains where those lawsuits are now. It's been a long road since the Hermit's Peak fire started in northern New Mexico on April 6, 2022. This part of New Mexico holds some of our longest traditions. That fire, later combining with the Calf Canyon wildfire on April 22nd, officially becoming the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon wildfire. And the cascading effect of this fire is going to be substantial. Burning 903 structures and over 341,000 acres, the largest fire in New Mexico history, before it was contained a few months later in August. This impacts generations to come, whether it's the flooding issues or the fact that we have to rebuild our incredibly important and traditional acequias. A devastating loss to the community, many of which are still waiting for government assistance to rebuild. Victims say it's been a slow and disorganized claim process. The community two years later is still deeply in pain. And in fact, many say that FEMA has re-traumatized the community. Which is where attorney Brian Colon comes in, representing fire victims who are now suing the federal government. We were in uh, federal court this week and we went in front of Judge Browning to tell him the status of the case. He set some dates for the uh, multiple lawsuits that we filed in federal court on issues such as uh, FEMA failing to uh, follow the law. Colon says FEMA is going beyond the allotted 180 days for a decision on claims after they've acknowledged a property owner's notice of loss. But despite the frustration, Colon says there is light at the end of the tunnel. On the two-year anniversary, I think that I want to bring optimism to the conversation, and I want to say that uh, the community is ready to heal, but it needs everybody at the table to assist in that healing. Madison Connor, CareQE News 13. So far, FEMA says they've approved $465 million and over 2,000 claims, which is about 63% of the claims so far. FEMA has acknowledged challenges, saying Congress directed them to launch a, pro a brand new program, which is something it doesn't normally do. But a spokesperson said the claims office is in a better state now than just a few months ago and is also expanding their Mora office hours to help those impacted by the fire.